All right, hello, welcome back everybody. Make on Patreon or down below if you want to support me and we do so if you actually can. So, so it's time for the monthly electricity demand levels update. Starting off with the world's largest electricity consumer, that today being China, averaging now over one terawatt of demand load on their power grid at any given time, with their most recent average across December coming in at 1.14 terawatts of average demand load. The U.S. fluctuating throughout the day-night cycle like any other country and across different seasons, has its average usually around the line of 500 gigawatts or so in present day. Most recently, over the last few weeks, it has been averaging about 520 because of increased electric heating demand from the severe winter weather the southern states experienced. India now, for the most part, up to averaging over 200 gigawatts and fluctuating through the different portions of the year up and then down, with last year the low point going down into the 150s, this year, at the lowest point, it's December numbers not even going below 160 anymore, and instead coming in at 162 gigawatts of average demand load. Russia, usually in the lower half of the 100s, fluctuating around. This time came in averaging 149. Japan, now mostly starting to stay below 100. This time, for the most recent data, a few months ago, coming in just a bit above it at 102. Germany, Deutschland, seeing some of their lowest demand levels in a long, long time. Coming in for most of this month, January, at only 67 gigawatts of demand load. Whereas normally they had been up more around 80 or 90 for a long time, but they have been on their way down over recent years. Canada is usually around 70 in present day for a general average. This time they came in most recently averaging 62. Brazil, as with many other things, has not been updating their data properly. And the last update we got from them was way back in May, and they were at 63, which is around the general area that their average demand load has grown to in present day. South Korea is generally in the 60s in present day, and they most recently came in at 63 and a half. France normally updates within the very month. However, they seem to be having an update issue this time for the first time. The latest we have is still their demand numbers from last month, which were at 66 gigawatts, and the 60s is where they usually are. Turkey in present day has just about grown up to averaging 40 fluctuating up and down within a range, of course. Most recently coming in just under 35 gigawatts. Vietnam is into the upper 30s in terms of their overall average. Most recently they came in at the lower end, just under 33. Taiwan is in the lower or mid 30s for their usual average. Most recently they came in at 31.3. The UK has declined from being more around 40 down to being closer to 30 in present day. This time they came up a bit and were at 35. Italy in present day is normally pretty steady right around 30, and this time came in basically right at 30 gigawatts. Spain, it's basically the same, usually right around 30. This time came in a bit under at 28.5. Australia is usually in the upper 20s, as it is the hotter months right now in Australia. They're starting to come in for their higher end of the year, this time coming in a bit under 31 at 30.7 gigawatts of demand load most recently. Thailand is now in the upper 20s, this time coming in at 26.3. Egypt is one of the ones whose data is usually a few months behind the others. Their most recent data is from September, when it was still particularly hot. And they came in with a daily average of just under 25 gigawatts. South Africa once used to and would otherwise be averaging in the lower 30s if their power grid was not dilapidated and collapsing and were actually still remotely capable of providing that much. Usually in present day, they've broken down to only being able to provide 24 or 25. For the last two months, though, they have managed to provide a bit above that threshold and have been able to supply around 27, 
Malaysia has reached the 20s in present day, and most recently they came in with a demand load of 21.5 gigawatts on their grid. Poland is in the upper teens in present day, and most recently they came in at 17.7. Norway is... Argentina is usually just a bit lower, more around the mid-teens, and they came in most recently at 16.2. Kazakhstan is getting close to 15 for their average, and they most recently came in at 14.1. Belgium is usually up around 10. They came in decently down under 7 at 6.8. Colombia is getting close to averaging 10. And this time they came in at 9.4. Peru is up to usually about 8. They came in at 7.2. The Czech Republic is usually around 8. And they came in just a bit under it at 7.8. Uzbekistan is getting close to averaging 10. And this time they came in at 9.7. Hungary is usually around 4. And this time they came in basically right at 4 gigawatts of demand load. Greece is normally around 6. And this time they came in pretty close to point at 6.2. Romania is also usually around 6, despite having twice the population. And they came in a bit down at 5.1. And the lowest consumer included this time is Kenya again, setting a new electricity demand record as they continue growing. Now coming in for the first time over 1.7 at 1.72 gigawatts of demand load on their grid. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive with these and all kinds of other different graphs and charts across all different kinds of data and subjects. There's a link to my photography Instagram, a link in the top in comments to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.